So. He better not. Mm. He's sneaky. So it says drive to Crackerville. Drive to Okay. Animals. I am live on a different stream. Okay. Refresh your don't go don't you leave because you may have to tell everybody well, that's to, what I was thinking to uh, do, but well wait a second. Let's see if Carrie can okay. find it. <laughs> now you got me worried about my dang dog. I, well I see Bob and April. <laughs> are they live still? The, Bob and April are live. I think they're frozen keys? from a prior. Do you have your keys? Okay, no, we got we got eleven people in here. They're chanting Patrick. Patrick. Okay, we think we might have it. You need to tell everybody. Oh, I, I don't know where it's at. We got to get everybody moved over from the other room. We, we don't know. Not sure what happened. Give us just one minute. Oh, hi, Bob. Hi, Vinny April. says there's three live streams going on at this moment. Um, <laughs> give us just one second. Can you can you guys find this? Let's get there. They're better to look at than me. <laughs> All right. So you think I need to go out of this or stay here? I think you need. Well, you stay in because. Um, All right. I can do that. Yeah. I told them we had to start another live stream. For some, there was something glitchy with the other live stream. Well, I just see Bob and April frozen. But. <laughs> well. And I don't understand that one still shows live. Okay, that's the other one. And. Okay, yes, there's a new one out. If they go to Travels with Delaney, they should see it. It's a picture of the corner of my shirt. It's ugly. The thumbnail has got a blue shirt. So go to Travels it's that with one, Delaney. yeah. It's not the best, but... Go to Travels with Delaney. Yeah, tell them to leave this live stream, and they should find the new live stream. Thank you for the 20 of you that are here. And this camera is going to be horrible because we're on my iPad, but we are not logging off at this point because we're... Because we got on. I've got to get Bob and Evil. Oh, you can see. put this Need... over on your stove. Do you think it'd be too far away? No, we had our, our my phone like real far away the other day. And we don't have wind or anything. That way it's a better view. You can get everybody. And Bess. Bessie's in there. Okay. And then I gotta find it. Where's my phone? Jim Kuzman was a Patrick bubblehead. <laughs> That's All right, can phone. everyone That's hear mine. us? Where is my Where'd you put your Yes, phone? Vinny, you are absolutely right. Patrick's head is about to explode. It is. Exactly. Oh, here it is. The one night, Vinny, I need things to go right, it, it doesn't. I mean, we are loud and clear. They can hear us just fine. And how are we going to bring Bob and April in? We could call them. I'm going to call him. I'll have to call him, probably. Where are you, Bob? Here we go. I wonder if Bob has... Well, for those who normally join us, Russ is pretty <laughs> yingling tonight. Uh, so that live stream isn't working, but I got a new live stream started. What are my options? Can Do you guys have FaceTime? Russ, entertain the people. Well, you said you don't have an apple. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Man, that's quick. Right. Everybody okay. guess whether Russ is um, wearing pants or not today. <laughs> let's do a hint. We're all very close You have that Skype here. account, right? Yep. Yes. Okay. There you go. Let's try Skyping. Okay. Um, no, bunny suits. Ookie the Frog wants bunny, bunny suits. suits. Let's see. What is my yeah, Skype account? Yeah, it is account? Easter, so I, I could, somebody had earlier said about Easter Lederhosen. <laughs> That would have been yeah, they wanted to leader host. Yeah. We I, went I to Bucky's today, and Patty and I debated. Well, once you're Skype, maybe I can call those you. Those two matching pajamas. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, Patrick and I, we were in a rush, so we had to go. But or we, we could really do. Those did we do an Instagram the other time? <laughs> or a Facebook? I'm having uh, issues with this thing. Instagram. Can we do, let's do that. That'll be quicker. Instagram? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You remember how you called me on Instagram? Hi from New Zealand. It's a lovely Sunday lunchtime here oh, in New Zealand. Oh, How cool. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me That's cool. Here. Oh, mine is 25 for no festive seasonal animal so costume. I'm an Instagram. Like, I got so. a new hat. 
Yes, yeah, she did. I got this at Bucky's. <laughs> I think you're wearing your new Bucky shirt too, huh? Well, I have one from one? Georgia. No. Oh, okay. This one we got at Christmas at Georgia. Gotcha. I bought one then. Is he yeah. MJ or right? Thirty-one signed in, only three thumbs up. So for <laughs> all the headaches, so let's let's <laughs> give them a give Patrick and Patty a thumbs up for. Uh, the frustration that they're dealing with, like <laughs> troopers, two troopers, because technology okay. can up. be very difficult. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was all working flawlessly. Until oh, like a few minutes ago. And here's the there thing. You know. We ran yeah. tests midweek with Bob in April. Yeah. So it's not like we had not ran tests. I don't know what, why all of a sudden we're having privilege, issues, yeah. so. Because go. it's go time, that's why. And that's right. Plus five for my new hat. Woo. I'm positive. I'm in. Oh, someone gave us a live chat. Who did that? Thank you so much. Endless RV. Endless RV. Thank you. Hope for a better connection. We hope so. <laughs> so, can we talk about our harvest toast? That I say, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, we went to a harvest toast. We'll disclose the name kind of at the end. There you are. Hey. Can you see me? But, uh, I did. Everybody went to eat. It was an outdoor there. restaurant at picnic tables. There we go. I didn't get to eat with everybody. No. I got punished. I got in timeout. I wonder if I can make no, the, they your were, picture. The service was horrible. Took over an hour for us to get our food. Yeah. They forgot my meal. Well, the beers took forever to come. The food okay, so this is going to be really cold. weird, yeah. but we'll make it happen. And they made us unhitch our vehicles from our RVs. Even though they say they can fit three RVs in there, which was crazy. It was the uh, first Harvest host that I probably would not go back to. I would think so, yeah. We loved every single one, but this one was just yeah. interesting. And even at night when they <laughs> said... you got to stand like that. <laughs> All right, we probably need to get started. <laughs> I'm going to be my pants. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know what? Thank Hold on. You. Oh, thank I'm going to... I'm going to put you on a pedestal. Thank you, Uki. Thank Bunny you so suits much. for next year. Yeah. That does extend Thank to your you so much. Hold on. I don't know how high it'll go, but all. Oh, my goodness. This is the jankiest live stream ever. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then there's one more. It'll extend on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Got my. a shoebox. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, uh, so that's the <laughs> that's the that's the Stargate that Bob and April will be passing through to join us. That Stargate All right. there. Um, <laughs> stay right there, Bob. Don't go anywhere. You guys vamp. Okay. Well, well, thank you everybody for being here. We have so many friends in the house. Vinny Mozzarella. Hey, Vinny. Debbie T. Roxanne Morrill's been here trying to see what's going on with this. Oh, no. <laughs> MJ and Izzy, thank you. <laughs> thank you for entertaining the crowd with the Easter jokes uh -huh. earlier. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mike Anantra, James Foley, thank you for joining us. Oh, we, 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 we saw Mike, Mike in... Uh, uh, a state park in Florida. That's right. I remember On which the way one. out. Yeah. Our niece Samantha's here. Hi, Sam. Hey, Sam. Sam. Wayne Kern. Avenger RV Adventures here. Steve. Hey, Steve. Yeah. Cross Country RV Tech and Solar says, hit it. Thumbs up. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We're going to get Bob and April back into the picture. Hi, Barb, Ohio. She says, never a dull moment. No, <laughs> never a dull moment. <laughs> Oh, Patty Gillen, what HH were you talking about? Harvest host. Do we want to give more specifics? Why not? I, yeah, I, I would. I would. <laughs> All right, down in Fairhope, Alabama, it's called Bill Ease. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty horrible. <laughs> yeah, the, it was just a weird dinner experience, I think. It was just, what, it took us, what, almost an hour and a half? Two hours to get yeah, our food. Yeah, Carrie and Carrie hadn't even gotten there. Carrie, poor Carrie had to eat in her camper, and then. <laughs> but I got twelve whole French fries <laughs> with my meal that I waited for. Oh, why? Twelve fries. Yeah. Twelve French fries. They didn't want you to overdo. I do feel no. sorry for Bob and April. <laughs> I feel like I've got them just all over. They're gonna be seasick. Or, you know, <laughs> like yes, Barb. Patrick is not giving up. No. No. He's never. Insane. He's never gonna. Okay. Give up. <laughs> Russ, you're kind of 
blocked. It's, but here, I'll try to slay hey, it's kind of like Russ is outside when no. they do their live stream. <laughs> Um, yeah. He can come over this way somewhere else. Can I can scoot over. <laughs> Wait, when, where's Patrick gonna go? He's gonna, he's gonna this way. Okay, we'll come this way. <laughs> come here, buddy. Oh golly. Okay, is that better? <laughs> One day we're gonna. We're gonna make it work. Yeah, just, just let it go. <laughs> so make it work. Let's make sure everybody can hear Bob and April. Bob, you wanna say something? Hello. Hello. Let me turn. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Can you yes. hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? <laughs> Wait, are we gonna get copyright? Can you hear me now? I don't know. Now? Seems like that's about as loud as I can get you, Bob. Okay. Yeah. So can the people on the okay. Can you guys hear everybody okay? Patrick, lower the tripod so we can oh, see Russ. Oh, okay. oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about that, Patrick. <laughs> oh, thank you, Randy. So this will be your best live ever. Patrick, <laughs> 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 All he's got to do is lift his glasses a little we're gonna bit. We're going to go viral. <laughs> you can actually move yeah, it yeah, that way, Patrick. We are going to go viral. Mike Snydecky <laughs> thinks Patrick's going to break yeah, his leg. Yeah, a little bit more that way. <laughs> Which way? But I, I'm trying to keep. They can I'm, hear us. I'm trying they to keep Bob us. and yeah, April. See, we're, I can actually see more than that. You can. So yeah. I, you want me to go this way? Yeah, because right now we're getting a split screen. Vinny's impressed. Not one no, curse the other way. No, you guys know I. Well, not on camera. I don't. I do curse. Go but. the other way. Not one curse. Uh, getting on our visas, Patrick. I think it's time to sit down. It looks great. Keep we going. good. Keep going. I think she said it looks Perfect. great. Yep. Looks great. Let's okay. go with it. We're, we're good. good. We're good. Okay. So. And hopefully you'll be able to hear Bob in April. So welcome, everyone. Um, sorry for all these issues. They happen. But they tonight's really special because, number one, if you notice, we have Russ and Carrie here yeah. in the Lance Woo. with us. Yeah. And we are coming to you live from Gulf Shores, oh, Alabama. Alabama. We've had this trip planned for... Golly. A couple months. Or yeah. Longer. yeah. Yeah. Or longer. And um, the reason we didn't really talk about it was poor Russ has not had a real vacation in what, over a year? Yeah. A true yeah. year. Yeah. And we kind of, because of COVID, we really, we've had some trips, but so we just decided we were going to kind of keep it secret, come down here and just hang out. But then we needed to have a live stream because we, we decided to do something really special. I was on the phone. Uh, back in February, I think it was, think so. with Bob and April. And if you don't know Bob and April, they're in your lower, I don't know, left or right-hand <laughs> screen. They should have been half the oh, screen, but here. yeah, they're somewhere. I don't know where I'm going. And you know Bob and April from Travels Abound here on YouTube, yep. and also Bob's Mug Coffee. Oh, thanks, Mark. IT, IT support fund. <laughs> thanks, Mark. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was on the phone with Bob and April, and I was telling them how I, impressed I was that they donate a very large yes. percentage of their profits from Bob's Mug Coffee to Make-A-Wish. And Bob said he wished someday that he could raise enough money to actually grant a wish. Now, to be able to grant a wish is about $10,000. Yeah. And um, I said to Bob, let's do it. And I think he thought I was nuts, but I said I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call my friend Russ because I know he'll help. And we decided to team up, and so we've set a goal this month to try to raise ten thousand dollars. So Bob gets his wish, which is to grant a wish for a child that has um, a serious illness. And I'm gonna let Bob here in a second kind of explain make a wish and how he got into it. But here's what we want to say right up front: if you want to help us. Please go to bobsmugcoffee.com, and there is a direct link on his page for Make-A-Wish. We would like you to make your donations directly through that link. It'll show up as our fundraiser, um, but if you donate like Super Chats for fundraising, then YouTube takes a cut, and so all of your money's not going to us to pass along. If you donate through that link on Bob's Mug Coffee, then 100% of what you donate goes to Make-A-Wish. So that's just really important and want to remind yeah. you. And exactly. So 
we have agreed, or not agreed, they didn't, it sounds like they twisted my arm. I said, we will donate. We haven't done this in a long time. Vinny remembers this from a couple years ago, and I know several of you remember this, where we would run fundraisers and donate ad revenue. Patty and I have committed to donate all of our ad revenue for the month of April, and I told Bob earlier this week, I will commit to a minimum of $1,500 from Travels with Delaney. If ad revenue goes over that, we will donate every cent from ad revenue. Um, and then, Rush, you want to talk about you? Yeah, we, we're we going to donate our entire month of April's uh, revenue as well. Don't know what that is. It right. fluctuates. Sometimes it can be higher and lower. But 100% of all of our ad revenue uh, from the roads we roam will go to this fundraiser as well. And Bob, I'm going to turn it over to you in April so you can kind of talk about your commitment and then also maybe talk about Make-A-Wish a little bit. Um, I want to make sure we point out, I'll, I'll kind of lean in. Um, <laughs> when you go to that Make-A-Wish team page that we've set up, there is a logo. It was the one you saw in the thumbnail leading up to tonight, the, the s'more with the star. We want a big shout out to Uki the Frog, who's on live tonight. Our good friend, Abe, yes. he volunteered to make that for us. And um, so thank you so much, Abe. It is an awesome design. And I think it really symbolizes the whole idea of the camping community coming be, um, together to try to make a, a, a wish for a child. And um, so I thought he did an outstanding yeah. job. And I just wanted to make Beautiful. sure we get that in. Of course, yeah. His work is always yeah, amazing. Good. So now, to really kick this off, in addition to our pledges for this, Bob, I believe you made a comment to us that if you raised a certain amount during the time of this live stream you were going to do something pretty spectacular can you share that yes i was hoping you wouldn't bring it up <laughs> uh -oh. um, if we hit five thousand tonight i, I kind of shifted the, the the payments but if we if we hit five thousand tonight that's how serious i am about this I will buzz my beard off. Wow. 
And how long have you had that? Um, the last time that I was completely clean shaven was 17 years ago. Wow. Wow. <laughs> So, so it's a part um, of him. If we, can, if we can hit 8,000, I will take a razor and shaving cream to my face. Oh, wow. <laughs> and awesome. I'll get the <laughs> April, do you remember what he looks like without the beard? Because when this guy shaves his beard off every spring, I always call him a little baby face. So do you remember what it looks yeah. like underneath there? It's baby like face. <laughs> <laughs> So right now we are at $2,975. Wow. That's amazing. Awesome. Uki Great. thinks uh, it, at 8,000, Patrick wears Fantastic. a bunny suit for six hours. <laughs> so wait a minute. Could it be a bucky suit? <laughs> that would be, with just your commitment of the 1,500 alone, we're only about 500 away from that 5,000. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Oh. Bob, right. I just we heard will, Bob's side. <laughs> we will commit, the roads we roam will commit to 500. Whoa. Whoa. I would go in and transfer the money right now, but every device that I have is in use to <laughs> keep this live stream going, but I will. So, so that's kind of our big announcement tonight. And, um, Again, it's just, you know, it one, we hadn't done a fundraiser last year with COVID. It just seems like the year was crazy, and we didn't do the things we wanted to do. And those of you that have been with us for a long time know that it's really important to us to give back. Last year, for instance, we, and actually it might have been the first of the year when we did it, we had donated to Paul Chamberlain's Make-A-Wish um, fundraiser, $250 through Travels with Delaney. Yeah, exactly. And, and um, I know I'm doing links, too. So... But this is this is a bigger commitment for us, and we want to do it. We want to see Bob and April, you know, get their wish. Like I said, of being able to grant not just they donate a lot of money, but it, and it goes to lots of kids. But to yeah. be able to say this child uh -huh. got to go to Disney, exactly. or this yeah. child got a brand new RV, because that is a big. My understanding is from Paul, a lot of kids are requesting RVs because you can't travel when you're sick yeah, the smart. normal way. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so RVing has really opened that up. Okay, for... so we have another one. Randy from Randy's Adventures is going to also donate her April earnings. Oh, right. thank you, Randy. Yay! So, Randy. That is awesome. Show us um, the money. I put the link for the donation <laughs> site. So when you get your YouTube money you. for the month of April, you can go to their website or click on this link. Just save it as a tab on your computer, and you can transfer the money and make the donation right there. Awesome. Well, thank yeah, you, Randy. Randy. Yeah. And understand, it doesn't matter how much you're giving. If you can give a dollar, if you can donate $5, $10, whatever. It all adds I up. mean, we understand yeah. times are tough. Um, with COVID, some people have lost their jobs. So please understand, don't feel bad if financially you just can't give. That's fine. We understand. Um, Patty and I are very fortunate being teachers that we've been able to keep our jobs all year. Yeah. And that's why we're able to do a little bit more. But again, every every dollar adds up. And I think that's the thing that sometimes really people does. don't realize. They feel like, oh, I was only, I, I've seen that before. Where people say, well, I was only able to give $5. But if you give five and somebody else gives five, yeah. We're yeah. only a couple five short of an Amway company. Put up phone. Did I just show my age by saying I think Amway? So. Okay. But um, no, seriously, it's that's the way it is. Um, and if you click that link, 100% goes to Make Wish. If you click the link at the bottom of our product page, there, 100% goes to Make Wish. It does not go through Bob Blood Coffee. It doesn't go through Travel Bound. It goes straight to Make Wish. So that's there you go. just want to drive that home a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a great point, Bob. That, and that's why, that's why you know, a couple of years ago when we did the cancer fundraiser, the money was coming into us, which we obviously then turned around and gave. But uh, several times people would do donations through Super Chat. And we always felt bad because if they super chatted even $10, only $7 was actually coming to us. And and so we actually, a, a few times, we just rounded it up because yeah. we wanted you to know you were getting the full donation. But So that's why we didn't want to say, you know, donate through Super Chats. In fact, if you thank you to all of you who donated tonight through Super Chat. That money will go into our donation for April. But um, if you haven't 
we prefer you go to that link. So now, do you have the coffee that the, so they yes. really came yes. up uh, with, and it is fabulous. It is fantastic. It's, I'm not a coffee drinker, but when he makes it, it smells amazing. Like a lot of Bob's coffee smell amazing. Yeah. So yeah. what's great about this, and you might have seen it on both of our Facebook pages, Patrick, do you, you didn't do a wind down this week. So why don't you do the, dis <laughs> do the description of the coffee. Bob's Mug friend. Coffee, brand new, limited edition, S'more Wishes. He needs his glasses. No, no, I don't. No <laughs> chocolate, marshmallow, and graham cracker flavors. Now, I will say in all seriousness, <laughs> this, <laughs> I, I'm not a big fan of flavored coffees. Bob and April nailed it on this one because it is technically, I guess, a flavored coffee. But to me, it's more of a nice roast chocolatey flavor. And it's fabulous. In fact, this bag is going to go home with one. Of, well, not go home with you, but I'm going to send it to your home. We're going to give this away in a little bit later here in the live stream. And in fact, I have the box ready to go. I even threw in some travels with Delaney, or I threw in a uh, travels with Delaney sticker. There, you're going to get a limited edition travels with Delaney lapel pin. And a Travels with Delaney keychain, which I would not count on holding your keys very well. <laughs> but so Patrick on his knees. Yeah. So yes, I, 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 I'm begging, I'm begging. <laughs> but, okay, we but we're going to send this. In fact, I brought everything to send it out yet this this week while we're here. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. anyway. So not yes. counting the pledge earnings, we are now at $3,025. Oh, wow. yeah. Fantastic. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Good job, everybody. Okay, Rodney Sweet, how do I win the coffee? So we'll do a giveaway. What time is it? We'll uh, we'll do a giveaway here in about ten minutes. Okay. And we're gonna it, it'll be a, a it'll be a you. oh sorry <laughs> I'll come back. It'll be a guessing game. So, Ooh, I know. so you have a chance to put in something and then I might have missed it, but did you explain how everything, all the sale money for that coffee? Bob did. Bob did. Bob did. Bob did. Okay. Yeah, one hundred percent of the sale of the s'more wishes goes to the fundraiser. Yeah. I, I also need to thank Mark Milinarski for my shirt. So <laughs> yeah. it says good influencer, bad influence travels with Delaney. So let me tell you the story. Oh, okay. it's a good story. We were we were in West Yellowstone last summer for a camp out and Brian Morrill. Roxanne's on here. Yep, Roxy's on, so she I knows the story. Brian comes up to me at the camp out and he says, man, I like you, but you are a really bad influence. And I was like, I was kind of scared at first. I said, why? What did I do? And he goes, you're always making these videos and I ended up spending more money. And I was like, oh, so you don't want to see our new trailer. And um, he goes, all right, but I'm not buying a new trailer. And good for Brian. He has not bought a new trailer. Yet. But so that kind of became the joke at the camp out was Patrick is a bad influence on people. And yeah. back in February, we were with the Milinarskis and Jim and Abe, and something came up about me being a bad influencer. I said, well, I may be a bad influencer, but if you keep buying the products, it means I'm a good, I'm a bad influence, but I'm a good influencer. And then I jokingly said, we have to get that made into a t-shirt. Like two weeks later, it shows up in my mailbox. Mark had actually designed the shirt, and he has one. Jim and Abe have one. So thank you, Mark, for the T-shirt. It's awesome. He loves it, Mark. Thank you. Wow, we're up to three thousand eight hundred and twenty and twenty-five. Woo! Good job. You guys are awesome. Can you imagine? And you had mentioned uh, it was either you or Bob had mentioned we will get a follow-up story when the wish yes. is made. Yes. Yes. So when when Bob, you want to explain that a little bit? Did you hear that? Okay. The uh, yes, I, I, when when I spoke with Make Wish, um, asking if we could actually sponsor a child for this live stream, um, it's not possible because uh, there's so many wishes that are backed up right now due to last year and everything that was crazy about. Um, they're they're just now starting to roll out uh, the wishes uh, that had had a little bit of a backlog. So it was it's kind of impossible to do that uh, at this current time, but. Um, I was promised that we will know when when we do hit the goal and, and you know everything gets cleared through them and, and they put us in line. We will know when that wish will be granted and it will definitely be a follow-up for sure. 
And look, Gwen says, get out the razor. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Uki wants me to sing the S'more we're Wishes we're coffee so theme. When we hit 4,000. Four, 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 th four, 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 <laughs> I might have to work on that, Uki. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, I don't know. I think that's good. It, does anybody have questions? Yeah, they could give us a question. I haven't seen a question yet. If you, you do have a question. question for me. Yeah. And I can see it easier if you type question, if you have a question for us. And there's some really cool people for you to see. But half of the wishes, that's a good one. Yeah, Over so the, Patty went online 20, and found some. This was 2017. Yeah, they're, they're, it's a little old. It was dated 2017. But these are some facts Patty found online about Make-A-Wish that I found fascinating. Half of all the wishes um, through 2015 right involved Disney, where kids were requesting to go do something with Disney, and um, it says here through 2015 that means more than 100,000 Disney-related requests were fulfilled wow. through Make-A-Wish. Now, if they request to go to Disney World, um, there is a resort in the Kissimmee area called. Do you remember? Uh, uh, something about the world. Uh, give, give kids the, the world. world. Yes. And been there. the story of Give cool. Kids the World is there was a hotel owner on 192. Who received a phone call from Make-A-Wish asking if he would be willing to give him a reduced rate to grant this wish of this child who had cancer and only had a few months to live. And he was so moved by the story, he said, I will donate the rooms to help out. And then he, and then through, somehow he started, it was slow at the time, he said, if you have more kids, you send them to me. Well, they kind of became the official hotel and eventually, for whatever reason, he just decided that he was going to build a special resort just for Make-A-Wish, in essence. Wow. And so it's this private resort, kind of back behind 192. Any of you who's been to Orlando, you know 192. And it's kind of built like a resi the old residence inns where they're, they're like a little apartments. And they have everything there. They have restaurants. They have ice cream shops. They have things to do. Um... And basically, when Patty and I toured it a few years ago, we were told they literally give kids the world. So if you go there, the parents get to stay there. Um, but we went, I remember we went to the ice cream shop, and she, I said something about, I bet you get a lot of requests to open the shop early. She said, if a kid wants ice cream at 7 a.m., we open, open the shop. They get whatever they want while they're here. And it's... And they staff it with volunteers. Yeah, it's all volunteers. It's local wow. volunteers. It's colleges, colleges that yeah. like come down for a week and volunteer to help yep. keep give kids the world. Yep. And the idea is just to have a place for the parents and the kids to be in a safe environment. Well, and then they get to go visit Walt Disney World or whatever parks. And, and it was a really neat. It kept it really nice. The colors were really cool for kids, and it was just a fabulous place to visit. Um, it was just a neat place. It made us remember. We were like, we need to come down and volunteer after we were there, honey. Remember? You yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was amazing. You were trying to think how to take some of your, your college students down for it because it was such a neat place. Now, I do see a couple questions um, that you will still be able to donate money after the live stream. Yes. Visit bobsmugcoffee.com yes. or the link that's in the stream. Yep. Our goal is to try to reach our 10,000 by the end of April. Obviously, if we don't, we will continue to push yep. till we get the 10,000. Mm -hmm. So Bob can pre Bob and April can present that check and and they get that wish to grant. So Definitely. Y'all will come down too, right? Yes, we'll be there. Sure. If, if <laughs> as long as it's not during the school year, Bob, we'll be there. <laughs> He would video chat in, but he might have yeah. technical difficulties. He might have technical difficulties. Here's yeah. another interesting fact Patty found was sometimes, this is what they, there are certain wishes you said they can't grant. Exactly. If it involves hunting, hunting. they can't right. for whatever reason. And they can't, a kid can't wish for multiple wishes. Like a genie oh. lamp. You can't say, oh. I wish to get three wishes. I tell you what, any kid that would do that, they're brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> but, well, what's cool is, honey, you look on the, the facts, Yeah. a lot of the kids, and I wish I would have given a percentage, but when I read this um, article, a lot of kids that get granted wishes give their wishes to somebody else. No way. And they're yeah. allowed to do that. And here's a great example of this. That is cool. In uh, 1989, a seven-year-old named Craig pleaded with the Atlanta-based Wish Foundation to assist him with his goal. 
Oh, no, this is the wrong one, but I'll still read this it's one. It's a good one. Of breaking the Guinness Book of World Records for the most cards received. And within a year, he had received 16 million cards. Wow. And it kept going. And finally, the Make-A-Wish Atlanta division, finally, when because he recovered a year later or so, they, they had to put on their website, if you're sending a message to this boy or a note, it will be deleted or recycled because they just had no place to put all this yeah. stuff. Wow. Yeah, so that but was cool. The one I was thinking of, I thought that's what I was reading, was there was a child who wanted to give his wish to the hospital who to had the, taken care of him. Yeah, he gave it to his doctor. He gave it to his, and, and they ended up getting a food truck and they fed, he used his wish to feed the hospital staff yeah, yeah. as a amazing. thank you for the great care that, that they, received, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. kids are amazing, you know? Yes, I mean. Yeah. It's at, so cool, yeah. And half of the wishes granted go to Disney World. Yeah, uh, I they, mentioned they, that one. Yep, and then um, there was another one about John Cena to go to the back, which was kind of cool. Um, he granted his 500th wish in 2015, and then second place after him is Justin Bieber with 250 wishes. That's the one that shocked me. Who yeah. knew Justin Bieber was a <laughs> yeah. philanthropist? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That surprises me. So, Bob, you're going to be real close. Yeah. You're only going to be 499 <laughs> behind John Cena. <laughs> and then, you know, of course, you always know Macy's. They have donated over 100 million wishes since 2003. They've impacted more than 13,000 children. So that's amazing. Yeah. So we, these are just some of the fun things that we found about Make-A-Wish Foundation. And now, Roxy, the website did talk about Disneyland, which is I'm sure kids go to Disneyland, too. It had yeah. Disney World, the one site I was looking at. I didn't go yeah. to. And I think it said just like Disney-related yeah. requests. So. so I just, my mind goes to yeah. Disney World. So. <laughs> but yeah. And Bob, Bob, can you share a little bit? I don't think you did this earlier. I know you talked just a little bit, but I believe you have actually been involved in granting a wish, correct? In terms of being a part of the what the wish was? Yes, uh, without going into any really detail, uh, right. you know, for privacy reasons. Um, yeah, the, the, the child wanted to go to uh, Disney World, and his wish was granted. Uh, the city... The city Took him, him and his family around on a limo, and and they went and got special treatment, but then came back and he wanted to go uh, to go see the Star Wars uh, mainly, and so that's why uh, us being or me being a part of the 500 first, we are the a Star Wars costuming group that is actually overseen by uh, Lucasfilms Limited and Disney. It's what you see on the in the movies is what we have. Uh, it's got to be exact, right down to the, the millimeter of everything. Um, so, but we were requested to come in and True. do the big surprise and reveal. And uh, there's a picture of me on their website. If you kind of hunt around, um, you'll find uh, their story. Uh, but there's a picture of me giving him a fist bump. Awesome. And uh, he wanted to go down to be. He wanted to go down to be a Jedi. Well, he, he went down and. Uh -huh. and got a stormtrooper uh, costume uh, while I was down there. So oh, it, was, uh, cool. it, was, it was good. It's, he is a stormtrooper. Yeah. I, I, I am a stormtrooper, yeah. So, yes. He's got a super sticker, honey, so. for $4.99. <laughs> Jerry Zaleski. $4.99. But it's a great organization, and it's really, you know, you, you, you hear all the stories, and you, you think in the back, at least I know why I did, uh, you think about all the, 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 kids and families out there that are just there that are you know not in, in the happiest of places and you actually go and be a part of some of these things and it really opens your eyes or you know it so, so what if, if um, behind you know going to work or, or if the traffic's terrible or if they don't have milk on the shelves it's it's kind of one of those that it really opened it helped me really realize what is more important you know, mm -hmm. yeah, which right. has a big place in my heart for sure Yeah, that was with uh, Arizona DPS. That's yeah. how it all got started. Yeah. yeah, so if you don't know the history, Patty was just wanting me to share with there. you. You know, it is. Make-A-Wish got started in the spring of 1980. It says Arizona DPS officer Frank Shankwitz and his fellow officers started the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I believe it was because a child had requested to do like a ride-along. Yeah. yeah. And he was so moved by the response of the child 
by them just giving up some time to spend with that child yeah. that he wanted to, I guess, do it yeah, more, and it, that's yeah. how they started it. Yeah. And um, it was such so. a good experience for and everybody. I so. think Bob, and maybe I, I, I hope I'm not getting this wrong. You may know that you and April may know this, but I believe there is no financial ties. Meaning, this isn't for this is open to anybody who is 18 years or younger that hat that qualifies through their illness. It doesn't matter whether you're rich or whether you're poor. Anybody could be a Make a Wish recipient. So we right. are getting yeah. some updates Ooh. and. So as far now there is a little bit of lag I noticed as far as the people donating, but we want to say thank you to Abraham Perez. Uh, we have a few anonymous Woo! donations. Arnie and Mary Thuma. Yay! Thank Woo! you. Chanel Mead, thank the Harpinos. Yay! Thank Dan you. Guzman, KYD, Woo! Mark so Milinarski, Mike Anatra, Patty and Gary G, Ray Thompson, Straight Shooter. Travels Abound and Bob Mug Coffee and W. Kern. Yay, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. It's amazing. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's nice to do something nice, you know? I mean, it always feels uh, you know, and here's something that a lot of people don't know, and Sam, I hope Sam's not listening because she may be mad when she hears this, but. She was on earlier. Okay. But my niece, Sam, for those of you that don't know, she was born premature at like 23 weeks like when sam was born she would fit in my hand and she looked like an alien and i'm not you not making up it, you could almost see through her skin wow. and they told four sam pounds, two, no, two or they pounds. told my sister one and brother-in-law one pound four ounces, one pound, four ounces. Oh, wow. but basically the night she was born room. they told my brother-in-law and sister she might not make that she night. probably would not survive through the night and did they want to try to get her to Indianapolis to Riley? And they said, absolutely. And they had to fly her by helicopter. When they got to Indy, they basically said she probably won't live through the week. And she did. And then at some point they said she probably won't live past the age of five. Well, Sam is now, what, 20? 20, yeah. 20? Going to be 20 yeah. this summer. Uh -huh. But she actually could have received... they. They had, um, I believe, offered a Make-A-Wish to her. And for whatever reason, my sister just said thanks, but no thanks. Because, you know, we want, we go to Florida every year for Christmas. She so someone it, else to Yeah, it. and she, my sister really wanted another child. Because Angie's philosophy was we can afford to make Sam's wishes come true. My sister really and Darren really wanted another child to get that slot. And so, but actually, Sam could have had a wish. Yes. And she's probably going to be really mad if she gets it. Because I don't know if she knew she could have. Unfortunately, Sam's too old now yeah. to have her wish. So, yeah. But it's, it, it is. It was amazing for her because I remember one time they were like, she probably won't talk. And so we were learning sign language. Because oh. remember, she'd go candy, 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 more candy, 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 candy yeah. on her little cheek. But, that would be the first word I learned. <laughs> but uh, she talks. She, she goes to college. She's yeah. just doing amazing. But, so. but I mean, there was a case where, like, yeah. I, but it had, like, sh they would have been able to have a okay, wish. Honey. It was it was just their choice not to. Okay, Lou from RV Habit. I just signed in. Could you please repeat how to donate? I don't see anything on the description. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, and then they said I saw. It. Oh, okay. 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 I'm sorry. And we'll get that <laughs> after the live stream. I'll go in. We'll get the link in the description for this live stream. Yep, and um, I've also been putting it throughout the chat. So if you scroll yep, through, look right for there. the roads we roam. I've been okay. putting links for yep. that as we well. We need to give exactly. away some coffee. I think so. Give away some coffee. Give away some coffee. So. Um. Let's do this. We're going to put... More technology? No, no, we're not going to use any technology. <laughs> hey, we are now up to oh, 4,470. Now, Bob, you need to be Bob, scared. Get because with our donations from Charles with Delaney and ours, we have the additional 2,000 hey, coming pen? in. Do so we're at 6,470. So we're at 1,530 away from that shaving on screen, I believe. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> hey, Bob, do you have something to write with? Or write on? Uh, <laughs> coffee, coffee, coffee. What Everybody's you ready. What do you need? I need, well, I just, just do this. I need you to think of a number between one. How many people are online? We have. 60. Oh, okay. How about one in a in 1,000? So think of a number 
between one and one thousand. Write it down. And sure. now everybody in the comment section that wants yep. to win that bag of coffee with the trinkets, um, put in what you think either Bob or April has put in their mental notebook. There you and go. Ookie says, "Get ready, Patrick, for singing Bob's mug s'mores jingle." Oh boy, I better start writing the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Glenn wants you in a bunny suit. Okay, numbers are coming. Here we go. Wow, that's and we're going to let everybody get their guesses in yep. before we ask Bob and April for their number. The kids are taking all our paper, but we have to <laughs> <laughs> We Those trust kids. you. <laughs> Those pesky kids. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your dad. You're going to, honey. Dad's here? Yep, your dad's here. Hi, Dad. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Dad. Hi, I am, Marilyn. And I'm, Hi. I'm really sorry this live stream's been very unconventional. I haven't been able to talk to you guys like I normally do, but we'll probably end up doing a another Don't live stream in April Hi, later Glenn, in the baby. month, more of our traditional live stream. And give so an we, update. And we can give an update. And um, so. Are we invited to that one, too? Sure. Yeah. Maybe we'll figure out how to get you guys streamed in besides using a cell phone in front of a laptop. Hey, it's working. Yeah, yeah, it's working. It's well, there's a, well, there's a I'm way. just so mad because we had tested this yes, out. I mean, it wasn't did. like we'd never... We had planned so, this out. Yeah. But sometimes technology is... Right. That's, that's how things go. Yep. You, know? you just roll with yep. it. Especially when oh, you're in wow. Alabama, right? Yeah, roll right. tide roll. There you go. We will make a dozen of Bowsma cookies for a $100 donation. Whoa! Oh, okay. So if if anybody wants to commit a hundred dollar donation, and this is only one person. Yep. So the next one. The next one hundred dollars. Um, Karen Milinarski says she will make a dozen of her signature Bob's mug coffee Those cookies. Are so cool. They're, I call them crack cookies <laughs> because they are so addictive. She's an artist too. She I mean, is they're artist. a work oh of God. art. They are beautiful. It's so like a shame to eat them. Sometimes now the trick so is pretty. I can't tell. So Who, if you make that donation, you, get, you need to tell us when you make that donation if you want the cookies. And it's only one dozen, so like it's got to be the first person because Karen doesn't have the time to make forty dozen cookies. But it's <laughs> for a good cause. Come on, Karen. Forty <laughs> dozen cookies. Come on, Karen. <laughs> Put those knitting needles down. Come on. <laughs> So, okay, do we have all the guesses in? We need to find out. Your dad says I'll donate 100. All right, there you go, Dad. You just bought yourself a dozen cookies. And they are amazing. Woo! $100 for my dad. We're going to have to go visit. And Sammy says she's not. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we might be back. Are we okay? Okay, everybody? Bob and April, what number were you thinking of? Three seventy-four. Three hundred and seventy-four. Now we need to go back through yep, the comments and see here. who was closest to three seventy-four. That's amazing. That's the number I was thinking of. That was, uh, me too. <laughs> Let's grind the coffee right yeah, now. Right. Four eight fifty-five. We are at four thousand eight hundred and fifty-five dollars yes. in the system right now, and that does not include our the Rosewe Rome's donation, our donation. So let's see, that's another two thousand. Yep, so we're at sixty-eight fifty-five gonna be total amazing. minimum. Yeah. Think, gonna be total amazing. minimum. Yeah. Think, wow. So it's three seven four. Three seven four. So we're looking Ooh, for the Okay, hold on. I see it now. Okay. Yep. Okay, I only see one. That's close. That's close. Okay. I mean, Without one. going over? Yeah, it's under, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So we got three forty eight with Michael Donker. Michael Donker. Let me just double check here. I'm going to have to go slowly here. Make okay, we're double here. checking. It might be Michael's Bonker. This coffee's three, so three. good. 333. Three, three, three. So that's a little under yeah. Michael's. Is okay. there anybody over like three? Because no. it was 374 no. and Michael was. So 348 I, is Michael. 348 was Michael. So that is. Someone, they're all going 374 right now. <laughs> 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 all right. This room is tricky. This tricky room. Okay, there's nobody. Okay. There. Yeah. So Michael Donker. D O N K E R. Michael Donker. So yes. Michael, you win the coffee. If you will. Yay. If you will email me your mailing address, um, 
Mark. You can send it to travelswithdelaney at gmail.com. If you will just email me your mailing address and... You are part of my wish. Oh. What? you got to read that. Okay. Sam. Sam posted, Uncle Pat and Aunt Patty, you are part of my wish. Kiss, kiss, heart, heart. Oh, oh Sam. Give me all teary. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, Michael. Um, me teary. Tra yeah. Travels with Delaney at gmail.com. Get it. And then early this coming week, we, love you, we will Sam. get it. Um, down to a post office here at the beach somewhere. Yeah. And we will get it out to you. And thank you again. So, That's But great. if you didn't win the coffee, don't forget, you can go over to bobsmugcoffee.com, purchase your Make-A-Wish. Now, or, or S'more Wish, I'm sorry, that benefits Make-A-Wish. Bob, uh, how long will uh, S'more Wishes be available? Just through this month? We haven't decided. <laughs> okay. We, we already have a percentage of our entire profit from every sale that we have on our website that goes to make wish. Uh, we originally thought about it just being as long as the fundraiser, but we may extend it. So that's that's still in the works. We'll see. Okay. So, but just to be safe, if you really want that coffee, I would suggest ordering early and ordering often. Yeah, I mean, we're going to have to do it because both Carrie and I love that, so we've got to make sure we go and order yeah. ours. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, he says he's hoping you're warming up your vocal cords for Bob's Mug Coffee, uh, Smart Wishes, uh, uh, Coffee, Jingle. Oh, is there a jingle? <laughs> and Adam from Florida is here. Hi, Adam. Hey, Adam. <laughs> Don't change this subject. There's no better coffee in the world than Bob's. Mug uh, coffee. coffee. You just came up with that on the yeah. podcast? Yes. Wow. <laughs> All right, I, I, I think we need to work you. on the pitch and the tone. Right? <laughs> I like it. So we There's have no a few better. more that have showed up on, on the list. There's okay. a bunch of anonymous. Okay. Um, Adventure RV Adventure. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then Deb and Rod. I wasn't sure if I got them earlier. James Foley. Redway. Thank you Ooh. so much. Thank you, much. all of you. Yeah. Lou Motoni. It's our friend from okay. RV yeah, Habit. Lou. Right. Thanks, Lou. <laughs> um, we've got Summers Going Coastal. Yeah. Thank Ooh. you, guys. Mr. Vinny Mozzarella. Vinny. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you to everyone who's donated tonight. We appreciate. I know Bob and April appreciate it. And um, how are you feeling, guys? Thank you. How how's the how's how's the how's the love feeling? Yeah. Oh, it's great. We're probably gonna sleep tonight. They're all gonna be on a Well, don't worry. You'll get to sleep on those nice sheets and feel your smooth baby face on there because this room. Well, Carrie didn't know if some people donated a night hoping to see a show, but. Just leaving. Bye, okay. Bill. Cheers, Bill. My friend knows this is looking at everyone this heading towards the Great Bun and I-5. It's not? Well, I don't have the, z the lightning. Where's your phone? Oh, we're, down we're having such technical issues. Okay, we're back, I think. Says you're live. Your dad says we're back on. Way, we're back. Hey, hey now. Oh, hey you know why? Because my phone came up. That's right. Oh, good. well, I switched to mine, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't want to get Bob and April out of the shot. Okay. They okay? Okay. Okay, we're back. But how many people we still have? Did we lose everybody? We 27. 27. All right. That's okay. That's all right. I understand. So what's our, do we have a new total? Uh, no, we're still sitting at, with the four pledges, 6855 and Bob said if we hit 8000 tonight on air, he would shave his beard that he's been growing and cultivating and grooming <laughs> for so, 17 years. So I think, Bob, what we'll do, if you're okay with that, we could do that um, at a later date when we have the proper technology. Yeah, so everybody gets to see, see it. it. And, and we can we could party. Yeah. yeah, we could if April will let you keep it on that long. Wait, tell you what, you said you were gonna do another live stream. Yeah. When are you gonna do that? When were you thinking of doing that? Well actually this month again, right? Honey? Yeah, later in April. But we're also hoping to be with Bob in April the first week of June. We're going to Arkansas. So we could actually have them live there and not go. have to do this. Yeah, that's where, probably where the best people way could to do see it. it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Yeah. I think we just committed to, yeah. So, 
All right. Well, I think we're going to probably wrap up just because we're having so many technical issues. 45, 45 are back in the room. Okay. we got some back in the room. All right. You want to give the 45 an update on where we're at? Yeah. Sure. So we are at um, $4,855, which oh actually, and again, remember, that's before um, Rose We Roam and Travels with Delaney put their money in. And um, Randy and is going to be Randy's ready. putting money in. Yeah. And um, coffee sales. And hopefully some people will watch this live stream, sadly, after the fact, because it's the jankiest live stream. <laughs> but um, we'll probably, we'll be talking about it in our midweek updates and things like that. You so. know what? Um, it is <laughs> janky, to use yeah. your term. But it's actually really beautiful, what's happening right here. It is. I, I mean, mean, that's it, the thing. It's unbelievable. Bye-bye, Diane. I'm just amazed. And uh, yeah. Glenn has a suggestion. He thinks April needs to do the shaving of Bob's beard. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Causing the marital <laughs> That's really good. Glenn. I like Wait, that, Glenn. But Russ and Patrick can be wearing their bunny suits on the side. <laughs> oh, bunny suits. They can be in their bunny suits and shaving Bob's beard. Oh, there you go. There you go. So I, I have a question here. The kids have never seen you with a clean face before? Clean shaven face? Not clean shaven. I, buzz, I, I usually keep it buzzed. Um, during the summer, I just because I don't want to be seen with a clean shaven face. Wow. They've never seen it. You're about to start prepping them. Yeah. <laughs> Might traumatize them. Yeah. I, I remember as a kid because my dad always has a mustache and he still does. And as a kid one time he did shave it off. And I was little, and I remember I was. It freaked me out a little bit. Yeah. Because mom was like, "It's okay, honey. It's daddy." I'm like, Ooh, looking yes, at him like, he, is he looks so different to me?" Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. Crazy. So, all right. Any other questions? Yeah, let me know. I don't see any yet. Okay. Um, Comments. We're okay on time. <laughs> that was Mickey. Yeah. Lisa, uh, Lippy Lisa's here. Oh, hey, Lippy Lisa. Yeah. Hey. Um, April Marie's here, and Chanel, I think, was oh. one of the names on the donations. That's their, oh, yeah, April and Chanel cooking. and Tommy. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys are doing good. We always follow your travels on Facebook and Instagram. And I think they are decided to have a little fun and do some tent camping. I saw that. In fact, if anybody wants to follow their travels, take the scenic route with us over on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. So. Her pictures are beautiful. I give anybody that does tent camping. Yeah. Kudos, because yeah, I well. can't. We can't even put a tent together without having extra parts. <laughs> yeah, we tried. Yeah. Do you know the best part about tent camping, though? The furnace doesn't go out. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> your dad, we need to probably say your dad wants to know where to donate. Oh. You put that link back. We have uh, yeah, link. but I'm on her. For, hold on. If you, uh, dad, after we get off the air, we can. I can text it directly to you, the link, if you want. Where's your internet? Um, straight shooters asking soft start video tomorrow, Patrick. What is today, what is Saturday? It? Yes, yes, that is tomorrow's yes, video. Yes, yes, soft start video. Mark helped out. He said, "See above link for your dad, honey." Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so tomorrow's video will be Darren and I, primarily Darren, me on the ladder watching and telling you what he's doing. Um, install a micro air easy start and. Um, we put it on the trailer mainly because I wanted to be able to run the AC when we're boondocking off of the um, Honda, yeah, the 2200 okay. Honda okay. that I just bought. And also, if we need an absolute worst case scenario, we can actually kick it on with our 2000 watt inverter in the trailer and run some lithium. Nice. So, yeah. and That's I'll be honest, originally, Mike Wagner from the Wandering Wagners had been volunteered by his wife, Lynn, to yeah. install it for me. <laughs> And um, Mike has a video, an install video from a couple years ago when he put one on his Airstream. But we ended up, Darren came over, and it's four wires is all it really is. It's actually pretty simple, and MicroAir gives you detailed instructions for every air conditioner on the market okay. for an RV. So, honestly, if Darren and I can pull it off, anybody can. But what I did do, we, do, we have no affiliation with MicroAir. Is that? I think I'm getting it right. MicroAir. Um, but the Wagner's discount code will be in tomorrow's video in the description and you'll, you can save 25 bucks if you do decide to buy one 
and then the Wagners will get a little commission to support their channel. And I just wanted to do that because they're nice people. They have a great RV channel. Mm -hmm. And he was willing to nope. let yeah. somebody come over who he's never met in person. We talk via email or, right. uh, you know, texting Texting or whatever you call it. But, um, yeah, they're just good people. So Okay, another question for you. Yeah. This is from Mike Snedecki. What happened to the furnace, honey? So the furnace, yeah. We were we left Thursday night after Patty got off work, and we were at a Cracker Barrel in Kentucky. It got down to like 28 degrees, but I woke up at, I think, cold. about 3 a.m., and there was no furnace on. And when I tried to kick it on, the blower would come on, but that was it. There was none of the clicking. Yeah. Nothing. So the trailer was down to like 45 degrees, and at 5 a.m. I tried it again, and it started. I don't know, just out of the blue. Yeah, well, yeah. then last night, well, it was getting chilly out. We turned it on, and it would not light. So this morning, Russ and I took the cover off, and Russ suggested hitting the reset button or, or flipping it off for 30 seconds, turning it back on, because you guys had a similar. Yeah, and that always worked for us. I mean, for a while. Right. But then it stopped. But so yeah. and it did work then. Yeah. Yes. We so we think we don't know what's wrong. Obviously, something caused it to trip. Yeah. We don't know it, if it's the sail switch. We don't know if it's the motherboard. But currently, we don't even know if it'll kick on tonight. The good news is tonight, though, and for the next whatever we're here, right? Week, um, we're on electricity, and I had brought our little electric mm -hmm. heater. Good. Yeah. So we are at five thousand one hundred and thirty dollars. Oh I tell you, that exceeds that what I thought. Yeah, that's I mean, blowing that my is mind. Amazing. It is blowing my mind. What so. a great community. Yes. Wow. So, so many caring people. And it's yeah. just the perfect time with so Easter awesome. and all the blessings. It's just crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the other thing. Tomorrow is Easter. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what a great weekend. Yeah. It's just kick yeah. this off. I mean, so... Um, so anyway, that's the story with the furnace. We really don't know what's wrong. And it's just one of those things. I mean... RVs are RVs. I hate to say it's it. Just and what they are, yeah. It just is frustrating. You know, it, it's frustrating at 3 a.m. when you wake up and you're freezing. Yeah. You know, and you spent 40000 <laughs> Yeah, we, several of us. So, it, but, you know, you, you're in a better mood. I think Patty heard me say something about... Well, I heard you specifically say, gosh, we need to find our cougar that we had, because it was so dependable. I said, honey, that cougar is probably in a junkyard. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, it was so a 2008 old. cougar. It might <laughs> be in a junkyard. I hate RVs. <laughs> yeah. I hate campers. Went up again. We're at 51, 55. 55. <laughs> So yeah, so but that's okay. It's just it like I said, it goes with the territory. I mean, yeah, I try to stay positive on this stuff. It's just you sometimes say, really, yeah. yeah you, I mean, yeah, really, I I you can you can really get upset. So it's it's just better just to stay positive with that stuff because it's gonna happen. Well, it probably Wait. helped that night that all the covers went to me. Yeah, <laughs> I won't I won't get into that story. Bob, you were saying something. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. That's okay. Uh, I compare RVs to smoke detectors. If something's going to go wrong with your RV, it's just like your smoke detector. It, it will chirp and let you know that the battery's dying at 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. Yep. Something's going to go wrong with your RV. Exactly. Yep. The propane never runs out today. No. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, the furnace had always worked fine. It was just, but you know, when you need it at 28 degrees outside. At three in the morning. At three o'clock <laughs> in the morning. You're yeah. tired yeah. and you're not thinking clearly. And I'll tell you what I'm really excited about. Somebody asked about tomorrow's video. I'm really excited about next Sunday's video. What is it? I have this new product <laughs> that I paid for, so I don't want anybody thinking, oh, he's only doing it because he got it for free. No, I actually paid full price for it. It's called the Icy Breeze oh, oh, we love this. Air Conditioner Cooler. And it's a cooler... So if you just need a cooler, it's a cooler. But you put ice and water in it, and it has tubing that runs the cold ice water up into a series of coils, right? coils yes. and then back down. So it's just like an air conditioner, but instead of using Freon, yep. it uses cold water. And then it has a blower. And um, I will tell you what, it, it really it works. Yeah. yeah, we tested it in our rig with our dogs yeah. today. Yep. Because one of our dogs is definitely afraid of the tornado air conditioning unit that we have in the little guy. Yeah. If you have a little guy, Max, or know of it, it's got a very loud air conditioner. Yeah. We brought this in there. He was literally sitting right next to the icy breeze, 
and it wasn't bothering him yeah. at all. So thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But you got us buying another one. See, yeah. Bad influencer. Yeah. <laughs> Good influencer. <laughs> bad, bad influence. Because yeah. we're yeah. buying one right away. I mean, and I know people are going to see the video and be skeptical. First of all, let me just say, I'll give you a preview for everybody that's here because we appreciate you putting up with yes, all the issues tonight. All this craziness. But here's what I will tell you. It is not going to cool down this RV. It's no. not an air conditioner in that sense. But it will a little guy next because it did. <laughs> Was it cold in your... Yeah, we, we have 126 no, that's true. feet for our so. <laughs> It cooled it down. <laughs> and, um, but, but like for us, if we're boondocking, let's say we get into a harvest host at four o'clock in the afternoon and we're, maybe they don't allow you to run your generator it's warm we've got all the windows open they to have easy. cold air just blowing up on us to keep us cool until it cools down yeah, at night easy. and what great is you can run it off of a lithium battery pack that they will sell you yep. you can run it off of a 12 volt plug like we'll we'll just plug it in here and run off of our lithium batteries or you can get a 110 it has wheels it has a handle so if you want to take it to the beach and it's hot out on the beach you could cool yourself off if you want to keep your dogs cool. If you um, Rascal Flats, Flats use actually it. uses icy breeze yep. on stage in the summer yep. to keep their people cool on stage. Yep. They just have it blowing cold air on you them. You know, when you had it on pointed towards me um, in the driveway, you know, at, at Bucky's. Yeah, I yeah. was what? Maybe eight feet away from it. Right. I could feel it. I could feel the cold air blowing at me. Yeah. And it really wasn't a... Um, it wasn't hot yet. So I can imagine if it was hotter, it would even be more intense right. you know, with that nice, cool air. And then another product that I have coming out in two more weeks that some of you will be interested, some won't, but if you're a pet owner, the My Waggle, and I am completely yes. sold on yes. it. It is a device you buy, and then you pay a monthly subscription fee through Verizon. But basically, it will alert you if the power goes out in your RV or if the temperature gets too hot or too cold, and you determine what too hot and cold is. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it is so nice. Like, tonight when we went out to dinner, I wasn't sitting at dinner going, oh, I hope they're okay. I hope the mean? power didn't go no, out or to it's too death. too hot. Um, <laughs> because we tested it at home, and I would instantly go out and turn the breaker off to see. And within seconds, I was getting an email and a text alert saying the power in your RV has wow. went out. And then I intentionally, obviously, Truman and Bess weren't in here, but I intentionally turned the heater on at, so it would go above. And then I get this text and email saying, you have exceeded your threshold of 75 degrees or whatever it was set at. Yep. Mm -hmm. So th I think if you're a pet owner, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, for us, it... It's worth the, and we just bought the yearly plan because that's the cheapest plan if you just pay for the whole year up front. Um, you could use it in your house. Like if you were just worried, what if the power goes out at home or the air conditioner goes out at I home? You could, a good ease as of long mind. as you have a Verizon yeah. signal where you live. Yeah. So, for me, it's an ease of mind thing. I know they're going to be safe. Mm -hmm. yeah. so. We need to thank Michael Donker. He's leaving. He says, Happy Easter. Thank, thank you, you Michael. Coffee. And yeah, just email me Michael. your, uh, your uh, mailing address and I will get that coffee sent out to you the first of the week. Happy so. Easter, Michael. Thank you very much. Happy Easter. So. Anything else? We're we're yeah, at, we're about eight twenty two, and I know some people have left. But yep. anything else from Bob and April down in Arkansas? I will I will shave how everyone wants me to shave. How's that? I went oh. when and where. Just let me know. I want to shave. Let me All know right. That buzz. I think we're gonna hit that ten thousand. So yeah. 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 Woo -hoo! <laughs> if we're if we're over fifty percent of the way. Then um, we're gonna get there. Oh yeah. And Randy, I, I don't know if Randy's that still is so on. Generous. Thank you, Randy. Yeah. Randy's adventures. If you, I, I think everybody in the room's probably already subscribed to Randy because you know our community's tight. Right. But if you're not, Randy just gives good so tips. Yeah. <laughs> and I know she a lot of times says for people in small campers, but a lot of Randy's tips are for yeah. any anybody. camper. Yeah. 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 A lot of crossover. There. Yeah. I mean, her most recent video that I just watched was. You know, how do you keep your trailer clean without using harmful chemicals, which was awesome. And um, so that doesn't, you can use those tips even in your house, oh, yeah. even if you're not an RV or so. Um, I just wanted to shout Randy out because for her to step up to the plate tonight like that, that's, that's awesome. And, yeah. and she's just a friend and, and just a, Randy's one of the nicest people I know. Yeah, she you is. Know? She's when, just, you, when you meet Randy, 
it's like you've known her yeah. your yeah. whole life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you have that instant connection. I think she has that with everybody she meets because she has such a vibrant, bubbly personality. personality. Yeah. yeah. We've all got to meet Randy yes. and spend time with her. Yes, we have. So. Well, Wendy Connolly says, have a happy Easter, Patrick and Patty. Good Thank night. you. And you too. Thank you very much, Wendy. Have a wonderful Easter. All right. I well, I that's, think I that's going to do it from uh, here. And um, did I, Bob, did you have anything else to say? I just want to give you last part again. Yes, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys for all that you do. So, yeah, yeah. And check that link that we've been putting throughout the show and Patrick will put later on. Because if you want to see where the status of this um, effort is going, that's where we've been getting the updates throughout the night. So if you want to see where we are reaching that goal, check back on that website uh, link often. I'll put it back up on here. Is this something that people can share on their Facebook pages to their friends and family, you know? Oh, let's ask Bob in April. Yes, right there on the page itself, if you go there, you can share the page, either Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, email. There's some other options as well. We're going to post that up on our Facebook. Yeah, we will too. Yeah. That's good to know. Thank Thank you. you. That's a great question, Terry. Oh, that was his. Oh, okay, was his. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Same, same. <laughs> it's the same thing. Well, everyone says safe travels, well. Stay all right. safe. Happy Easter, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Have a great Happy night. Weekend. Thanks for joining Bye. us, and we'll see you real soon. Bye, and thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Thank you. Oh, yeah. Woo!